Hey guys, welcome back. And for this tutorial, we're going to learn on how to animate uh, plants in Adobe using GrowFX. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna hide the leaf and branch first. And we're gonna apply, we're gonna turn the branch on since there are just two objects here. All right, so we're gonna put some wind uh, modifier on the after mesh modifiers okay and then let's create a modifier wind animation and create one and then let's make this into 10 All right Okay, so let's go to the stiffness. As you can see here, stiffness, the more you add, or the more, high, the higher the value of the stiffness, um, the more stiff it is. So let's say if you want it like that. So let's stick to 1000 and then the flexibility is about the swaying of the branches so let's put 5 uh, maybe this one 2000 let's play it again or let's set it up to um, 100 this time and this one just 1000 let's see and then let's set the wind to 40 because this one's too strong okay now let's play it all right that's the kind of animation we're looking for it's pretty good. All right, now we're gonna add some animation to the leaf, and then let's duplicate this one. Name is name it as leaf. So we'll just name it as branch. Okay, so for the leaf, we're going to add some wind animation and then pick and then leaf. Alright, we'll pick the leaf uh, wind object. And then for that one, we're going to change the stiffness of the leaf from 1000 and the flexibility to 3 and then the wind should be around instead of 40 we'll change it to 100 right let's see let's play it again I think we're gonna add some parts of speed on both the leaf wind object and branch wind object. Alright, for the branch we're gonna add some per tube of 50 and 100 it's fine. Also for the same goes for the leaf object, we're just going to add some 50, 50 value and then 1, make it 1, All right should work so let's say we'll view it in a perspective view let's imagine we have this shot, close up shot, vignette shot of those uh, landscape and there's some um, there's some um, duffled lights 
going on from the trees here. I think it's pretty good. Now we'll try to duplicate this one. Let's just see how how it looks. So copy copy it as a net instance, but just copy. Duplicate it as a copy. Alright, and then let's put maybe four more. Alright, so what you're gonna do is since we don't want this one to um, be the same, we're just gonna click the seed here. So it, it's gonna make another new variation from the original one. See? So it won't look the same. Alright. Maybe we can have four of it. So on your animation, you can have four copies of this one with different point cache. And you can, you can make a proxy out of these four and then you can scatter it on your scene. So, so you can have a big size of um, point cache file size because you've got four different um, animations. All right, so let's make a preview now. Just move this. I'm gonna do a perspective. Zoom out a bit. Okay, so we're gonna make a preview. Shift V, and then set it to 25 frames, FPS is 25, custom is 0 to 300, high quality, let's just go for standard, and then let's make this 200, higher preview, okay, that's great. Shouldn't take long. So if you want more breezy animation, just bump up the uh, wind speed or either the stiffness or the flexibility. But yeah, most of most of the animations have this kind of uh, wind setting. So they're perfect perfectly for your flight so you can use the setup. Alright, let's gonna try another view here. Let's just say front. Mm. Let's just this one, all right. Okay. Let's create again. So for these kinds of vegetation, like uh, uh, any plants with not so much uh, nodes, <coughs> it's pretty much easy to make an animation. It's pretty light. So yeah, there's there's no. <clears throat> it's pretty seamless. Like there's no the instance are pretty different. Different. So if you want to make this into a V-Ray or Corona animated proxy, there's some videos that I did previously. You can check that one out and I think this one's done thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you subscribe and to get more uh, new tutorials thank you